ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فان اصدق حديث كلام الله وخير الهدى هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر امور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار we have today to remind us to remind us bi idnillah ta'ala to remind us bi tawfiq min Allah ta'ala some words or statements by the great sheikh sheikh al islam abdul aziz bin baz rahimahullah rahmatun wasi'a regarding those issues of those times where muslims are going through difficulties where muslims are being killed or muslims are being oppressed or muslims blood is being shed what should be our focus when earthquakes take place when fires take place whenever the, any type of difficulty should come our way what should be our focus for we are ummah a ummah fali muhammad ibn abdullah sallallahu wa sallam alayh we are ummah a ummah who act free to act based upon emotionalism based upon desires based upon opinions based upon philosophy based upon how i feel or you feel but rather we are restricted by the book of allah tabarak wa taala and the sunnah of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam alayh and the understanding yes restricted by the understanding of the salaf salah the first three generations of islam i ask you brothers once again as often as we do every week to come forward to make room for our brothers so that they will have space to make their their uh, rakatain or the two rakats of tayyib al-masjid if they want and have room to sit and so on and so forth make things easy for others and Allah will make things easy for you bi idnillah ta'ala that in we are restricted that the men are just salaf being upon the way of the salaf being upon us and the salaf means the prophet as salam and the sahaba and those who follow them righteously and those who follow them righteously and he those right after them the tabi'in and the tabi'in and all those who follow them correctly in their belief their practice and their understanding and imitation of Islam to Allah and here is the earth and all that is upon it one who follows that way then in the Arabic language he can say nisbatan to connect himself to that to show that he's upon that way that he is salafi and it is not a hizb or a party and this is why our great sheikh abu abdullah muhammad bin said of saymain said that i'm on the way of the salaf salih and i'm on the belief of the salaf salih and my way my madhab is the way of the salaf and i'm free from any salafia that's connected to partisanship or his bia not a salafi based upon this amir with the oath of allegiance and this group of muslims that separate themselves from the other muslims who are upon Quran and Sunnah and the way to set up side and no it is understanding it is approach it is a way to understand and implement your Islam so now that we're restricted to kitab and sunnah and we understand that and the understanding of Islam what understanding not any understanding we want to have but to understand the sahaba and the prophet as salam the sahaba and those who follow them righteously then we can't react any way we want to react We can't become someone who's up on kitab or sunnah but now when something bad happens all of a sudden we're snick or we're core or we're the black panther party now we want to march which is not from our deen now we want to protest which is not from our deen now we want to do all this which is not from our deen we leave all understanding kitab or sunnah as if the prophet ayyad salam was not up on guidance and did not give us guidance and uh, as to how to act when these matters take place the first issue is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to test the believers and the believers are tested in many different situations so let's listen a little bit to what the chef rahim Allah had to say before we go and get emotional before we go and get tricked again before we go and get steam 
being than kind. Before we go, and we go off on some type of emotional limb, and we don't know nothing about the circumstances or the situation of the matter at all. And we have not listened to the words of our scholars regarding the issues, but we're just up on hype, and we're just up on confusion, and we're just up on whatever we heard from the people of Jahiliya or the people of, of political views. No, we don't get our deen from there. We get our deen from Kitab and Sunnah and the Minahaj of Salaf Saleh, according to the understanding of the Salaf Saleh. And the inheritors of, of, of that are the scholars. He says, May Allah give us the grace, give us the benefit to reflect and to look at issues correctly and learn lessons from them. To learn lessons and wa'ath, admonition from lessons that we see from what happened due to the decree of Allah. From what happens due to the decree of Allah. One mudabadara bit tawbah. Run to tawbah. Rush to sincere tawbah. Repentance to Allah. I bet it never came. Or I should say in a better way, I would say that it never came to the minds of many that Torah would in, even enter into this issue. What Torah got to do with it? And we're being bombed. Or what Torah got to do with it? And Muslims are being killed. What Torah got to do with it? And we're separate. What Torah got to do with it? Torah is the utmost important issue regarding this matter. Torah min jami'a dhunub. From all sins. Wal awzah. And filthy acts. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ عَزَوَ جَلْ بِحِكْمَتِهِ Because Allah Tabarak Ta'ala, you want them to move back or forward? Huh? Forward? Move forward, inshallah, again, brothers. وَالْحِكْمَةِ بَالِكَ Expanse of wisdom. الْقَافِعَةِ Which is absolute and complete. And because of Allah Tabarak Ta'ala's knowledge of everything, His knowledge encompasses everything, He will test His servants Bisara or dara, with good and with bad, with ease and with difficulty, with richness and with poorness. These are tests from Allah. Adara wa shidda, hard, severe times. Wa rikha bin and also giving us blessings and uh, placing upon us luxury. This is also a test. Liyantahin. Empty hand to examine and test the servants. Sabrahum, whether they were patient, or shukrahum, whether they will be grateful. From an sabra in the bala, he who's patient when difficulties come. Was shakara in the in the in the and he's grateful when ease and blessings come. وَالدَّرَعِ إِلَى اللَّهِ سُبْحَانَ عِنْدَ حُصُولِ مَسَاحِبِ مَسَاحِبِ And he or she turns to Allah in the times of difficulty, in the bad times, in the hard times, whether it be fakr, poverty, or whether it be killing, or whether the believer is shaken by earthquake or by whatever the case may be, they are to what? Turn to Allah. They are to turn to Allah. And they are to be reflective of their dunu, their sins, and their taqsir, that they're short and their lax regarding their obligations to Allah, and that they have committed many, many sins that Allah Taala has let go. Many, many sins that Allah Taala has not called them to account for or punish them for. And so therefore they ask for his rahmah, his mercy, and his afu, that he let, let it go, or he does not pay it any attention, if you will. Aflah kulli falah. The one who has this status, or this understanding within himself, has achieved or will receive total, achieve total success. And will have aqibah hamida, a praiseworthy end. 
Akiba Hamida, a praiseworthy end. Listen to these verses of Quran. Alif Lamim. Ahasiba Nasu and Yutriku and Yakulu and Yutraku and Yakulu Amanna. Do the people think that they will be left by saying that they are just that they are believers? And they won't be tested. And they won't be tested. Verily, we tested those who were before them. Allah will surely know those who are liars or those who are truthful amongst them. And who are truth in their claim to be believers, and those who are liars, and those who are liars. What is meant by fitna in this ayah? Sheikh bin Ba says, al ikhtibar testing, wal imtihan, examining, huh? Hatta yatabayin al sadiq min al kadid. Until it becomes clear who's truthful in their claim, from who's a liar. Was sabir, was shakir. The one who's patient and the one who's grateful. Come and call ta'ala, as Allah says, وَجَعَلْنَا بَعْدُكُمْ لِبَعْدٍ فِتْنَ And we have made some of you for others a fitna, a test, a trial, a tribulation, an examination. We have made some of you for others a fitna. Huh? A tasbirun. Will you be patient? What kind of rabbuk or basira? And your Lord is watching what you do. Or your Lord is watching you. And Allah says, And we will test you with evil and with good. We will test you with evil and with good. Fitna. That's a fitna. That's a test. Wa ilayna turja'oon. And to us you will return. And Allah says, Wa balawnaahum bil hasanati. And we tested them with good. Wa sayyati. And with bad. La allahum yarja'oon. So maybe they will return to Allah. Maybe they will return. Maybe they will reflect. Maybe it will click and they will understand that they must turn to Allah. Well, the hasanat here means the blessings of Allah. Good luxury. Good place. Rikha. Ease. Siha. Good health. Izza. Honor and power. Well, nasr ala ada. And victory over the enemies. And victory over the enemies. This is all called hasanat to the good. And what he means here, hasanat not in the sense that we generally understand it, but hasanat means the good things he has given the believers. What say he at the bad? It's masaib, the difficulties, earthquakes, fires, war, bloodshed, grief, misery, crying, all those type of things. Kal-amrad, like sicknesses. What tasleet al-a'da. And the enemy being over you. The enemy having authority. The enemy having his or her foot upon your neck. The enemy taking your land. The enemy subjugating you. Huh? Wazilazin, earthquakes. Wariyah. Yani walawasif. Any strong winds or tornadoes or hurricanes. All these uh, things that destroy, destroy the lives and property of individuals. This should be understood that these are all of the evil matters that Allah tests a believer with. Kala Azza wa Jal, Zahara Fasadu Fil Barwi Al Bar. Evil corruption has appeared upon land and upon sea. Why? Be my kasaba aidi nas. Because what the hands of people have earned, what the people have done, liyudikum ba'de la di amilu. So they can taste a little what they have done. 
لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ Once again, so that they might return. So they may be aware. They may reflect. They may receive admonition and say, wait a minute, I have to come back to Allah. Wait a minute, I have to repent to Allah. Wait a minute, I got to get my life in order. Wait a minute, I've been wrong. Wait a minute, I've been lax. Wait a minute, I've been neglectful. Wait a minute, I've been asleep. And for many, wait a minute, I've been dead. It is a matter of return. Returning to Allah, tabaraka wa ta'ala. Walhamdulillah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyid al-Mursaleen. Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'een. This is not just in this circumstance that we're going to. We explained our motive. Our motive, we explained this, our stance. Based upon the scholars have said that Saddam Hussein and his people, those who are with them, are Ba'thiyin, so they're kuffar. We have no problem. They're kuffar. Just as Bush is a Kafir and everybody else involved in this is a Kafir and there's no love between us. As a matter of fact, there's enmity. But nevertheless, for the Muslim population, we say that we are saddened and we want no harm to come to a Muslim. But we say that any difficulty that comes to a Muslim or any hardship that comes to a Muslim or anything that comes of that nature to a Muslim, it is a trial or tribulation or difficulty or examination that Allah has decreed for a hikmah, for a purpose. And amongst those purposes is that we will understand that we have been lax and that we have been sinful and we haven't been correct. And that we haven't been on those matters that we must be upon. And this is what we need to focus on. There's no benefit to, to walking down Massachusetts Avenue. There's no benefit to carrying signs. There's no benefit to all this type of madness that is the way of the kuffar that we don't have anything to do with. It is not the way of Kitab al Sunnah and the Minhaj al Salaf Saleh. Anybody who is calling to that is wasting our time. And anybody who's calling to that in this time and day, in this time and day, and is wasting our time, is not benefiting the ummah. Matter of fact, he's harming it. He's harming it. Facade of corruption very shortly. We don't have much time. Allah says it appeared up on the ocean and the sea because of what people do. That's why it's corrupted. Because people are sinful. Because people disregard Allah Ta'ala. Because people neglect the rights of Allah. Because people commit kufr and shirk and facade. So Allah Ta'ala says, and they taste some of what they have. So that they would taste of some of what they have sent forth. Huh? And that some of them will return. Listen to this point. If you don't get anything else out of this khutbah. That Allah has decreed what He has decreed of e of difficulties and ease and the corruption that we see, liyarjannas il al-haq to return the people to the truth, to return the people to the truth. Wa yubadru bi tawbah. And so they rush to make tawbah, to repent to Allah, to barak ta'ala. Tawbah min maharam Allah. Somebody says, look at this. 3,000 bombs can be dropped on this one or that one. Afghanistan yesterday and Iraq today. And who knows, tomorrow, let me get myself together. Let me make tawbah. If my key is not sound, my belief not sound, let me get my belief sound. Let me make sure I believe as the Prophet and the companions believe. Forget everything everybody's talking. Forget all the split and the schisms and all this. I want to know what Islam is. I want to know what correct Islam is so I can implement it. Let, let me get with that. Let me get myself together. 
I don't know how to pray properly. Let me learn how to pray properly. I'm not on my five, ten, five times a day so like correctly. Let me get upon that. I'm involved in Reba. I'm involved in Bitter. I'm involved in this. I'm involved in Zina. Fornication, that and the other. Let me repent to Allah Ta'ala and get myself together. This is what should be coming into the heart of a believer. This is what should be on the mind of a believer. Anything else is a waste of time. Anything else is qil wa qal. He said and she said. Anything else won't help us. Shari'u la ta'atillah. The Muslims are weak. Well, you're going to make them weaker with your sins. You rush to the obedience of Allah. You rush to the fear of Allah. You rush to being about one who fears Allah. You get your home in order. This is the best of what you can do for the believer. It'd be better that you stay in your house and get your business in order than be about going up Massachusetts Avenue or somewhere talking about you protesting something. Because you have forgot the whole reason. You act as if you're not one who believes in the decree of Allah. You act as if all of this has happened. And Allah to Allah is unaware. Or they did it. And Allah was not able to intervene. Why don't you know that it's done by the decree of Allah and the wisdom of Allah and the planning of Allah and the purpose of Allah to Ta'ala. Let them forget they're Salibis Christians. Let them forget they're Yahudi, Jews, cousins of apes and pigs, the cousins of apes and swines. Upon them is the curse of Allah. Let them forget they're Hindus. They worship cows and rats in private parts. Let them forget they're Chinese, many of them communists and Buddhists. But how in the world can you forget and you got the book of Allah Ta'ala in your hands. And a preserved sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in your hands. And the scholars who can tell you just what it means and how to implement it. So as a matter of ta'eed, belief in the oneness of Allah Ta'ala. It's a matter of leaving my asi, sins. It's a matter of obeying Allah Ta'ala. Obeying Allah tabarak wa ta'ala is a matter of obeying the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa of Allah, the Sheikh says, and believing in him and his messenger, and obedience to the messenger, wa tamasuk bi sharia Holding on to the sharia, to the laws of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, wa da'wa ta'ilay, and calling to it. وَإِنْكَارْ أَلَمًا خَالَفَهَا And you find fault and put in check and correct those who differ with it. Those who differ with it. Those who are in opposition to the sharia. فَذَارِكَ هُوَ سَبَقُ كُلَّ خَيْرِ This is the means of all good. فِي الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ In this life, the dunya وَالْآخِرَةِ the hereafter. Wa fi sibar ala dhaka wa tawasibihi. Being firm on this and advising one another with it. Wa ta'awunu alayhi. Here we go. Assisting one another upon this. Cooperating with one another up on this. Upon what you have just heard. Yani, there's edge. Fi dunya wal akhirah. There will be honor. There will be power. There will be status in this life and the hereafter. وَنَجَاءْ مِنْ كُلِّ مَحْقُرُوهُ And safety from every makru, from everything that is hated. وَالْعَاثِيَةْ مِنْ كُلِّ fitna, Well-being from every fitna. Well-being from every fitna. كَمَّا قَالَ Just to show that it's not just a Mbasa statement. As Allah says, listen to this ayah. Some of us, maybe it's like we first heard, we just heard it today. Ya ladina amanu, O you who believe, 
In Tansurullah Yansurukum Yansurukum. If you help and support Allah, we need the deen of Allah Ta'ala. Allah will help you. Wa you thabbit aqdamakum. Allah and He will make your foot her foothold firm. Firmness to your foothold. When will Allah help us? In Tansurullah Yansurukum. When you help and support Allah and in the deen of Allah Ta'ala, Allah will help you. Or you thabbi akdamakum and make your foothold firm. Another ayah. Well yansuran Allah man yansuruhu. And Allah will help and support those who help him. In Allah laqawiyun aziz. Very Allah is almighty, strong, and powerful. Alladhina in makkannahum fil ah. Those who if he established in the earth, what will they do? Listen to the ayah. Aqamu salah. They will pray. Wa'atu zakat. They will give charity. Wa'amaru bil ma'aruf. They will order what is good. Wa'anahu anil munkar. They will forbid what is bad. Wa'alillahi aqibah. And to Allah and with Allah is the end of all affairs. Wa'ala ta'ala. Wa'ala Allah alladhina amanu minkum wa'amiru salihat. Allah has promised. And the promise of Allah, He doesn't break. He has promised those of you who believe, those amongst you who believe and do righteous actions, He will give them ascendancy upon the earth, and not only that, establishing upon the earth, generation after generation. Generation after generation. Like He did with those who before them. And he will establish upon the earth the deen that they are pleased with. The deen they believe in. The deen that they are pleased with. And he will exchange and change them from a station of fear and a status of fear to the status of safety and security. Then what does Allah say? Ya'buduna di. They worship me. La yushrikuna bishbiya shay'an. La yushrikuna bishay'an. They don't ascribe any partners with me. Woman kafara ba'di thalik. And who disbelieves after that? Fa'ulaika humul fasikun. These, they are the evildoers. Wa qala ta'ala. And Allah says, well, I'm the Ahlul Qura Amana. Aman, Amanu. If the people of the village had believed, what Takaw and had Takwa, what would have happened? Lafatahna alayhim barakatin mina samai wal ark. We would have opened for them the blessings of the heavens and the earth. Lafatahna, Lafatahna barakatin mina samai wal ark. We would have opened for them. All they had to do was have Iman and have Taqwa. And we have opened for them the blessings of the heavens and the earth. What I can kadabu, but they reject it. So we took them for the sins that they used to commit. Kadabu. Rejected. Turned away. Turned away. So Allah took them. For the sins they used to commit. And Allah Ta'ala said, All of them we took because of their sins. We took them to account because of their sins. Some of them we took with a strong wind. Some of them we took out with a shout. One shout. One angel of Allah Ta'ala shouting. And that led them, and they was in prostration, dead. Huh? Some of them, an earthquake took them, sucked them up in the earth. You can say, يعني, the earth swallowed them. Some of them, we drowned. And Allah was not unjust to them. Well, I can count on Fusum Yathlimun, but rather they was unjust to themselves. And listen to this ayah. وَمَا أَصَابُكُمْ مِنْ مُصِيبَةٍ And whatever happens to you of difficulty, فَبِمَا كَسَبَ أَيْدِيكُمْ 
It is because what your hands have earned. وَيَعْفُ عَنْ كَثِيرٍ And Allah lets a lot go. Overlooks a lot. يَعْفُ عَنْ كَثِيرٍ وَأَمْرَ إِبَارِي بِالتَّوْبَةِ We say in Indi that he orders a servant to make tawbah and to turn to him when difficulties come. What's wrong with turning to Allah Ta'ala? What's wrong with turning to the one who has power and might over everything? What's wrong with that? The one who brought all of this into existence. Maybe if you raise your hand, Allah Ta'ala will do something else with that bomb. Maybe if we raised our hands to Allah, Al-Wahid of Kahar, not to Bedawi, not to Dusuki, not to Hussein, but to Allah, Tabaraka wa Ta'ala, and no one else. That Allah Taala will remove any evil. We don't believe Allah has the ability to that. Have our iman dwindled to such a degree? Have our iman dwindled to that level? Ya yaladina amanu tuwa ala Allahi tawba tawba al nusuh. Oh, you believe? Repent to Allah. A sincere repentance. Asa rabbukum an yukafir an kum sayyatikum. It may be that Allah will remove your evil deeds. Or the khulukum jannatin. Enter you into gardens of paradise. Tajrim in tahti al Underneath which rivers flow. And Asa, it may be, in Arabic means he will do that. He will do that. If we make tawbah ta nusuh. Sincere tawbah. Sincere repentance. Correct ourselves. Let's not keep acting like we are a jizz or a part of something else other than this ummah. Something important that the Sheikh brings here, that many people don't return to Allah and don't make tawbah because their hearts are hard and they have become corrupted. Yani, qasr quloobihim. Their hearts are hard. And shaitan has beautified to them what they're doing. You all right? It's okay. It's only a little sin. It's all right, huh? Put something in a sadaqa box. You straight. Zayin. Beautified it for him. It looks good. It feels good. It tastes good. It smells good. Then it got to be good. No, it's trick from Shaytan. Tazyin. Something he been doing since our father Adam, they said, uh, beautifying it. Beautifying the evil. Allah Ta'ala, when he talks to, when he, when, when these types hear about the matter of Toba and return to Allah, Allah says about Walakin, Qasat Kulubuhum, their hearts are hard. And Shaitan made it, it beautiful for them what they were doing. Lastly, the Khalifa Rashid, Amir Mu'mini Umar Abdul Aziz, when an earthquake took place in his time, he wrote to the workers there and in every city, order the Muslims to make Toba. Order the Muslims to make Toba and to return to Allah and to ask forgiveness for their sin. And that's a Khalifa. That's a leader. He didn't go marching through there with the media and say, this is a disaster area and you need such and such amount of, of federal funds. No, he wrote to them that everybody should make tawbah. And everybody should return to Allah and turn to Allah and call upon Allah and seek forgiveness for their sin. So those who don't are not impressed with the Dawah to Salafiyah and it's, own, it, it's the only Dawah to Haq. It's the only true Dawah. That's Shakti Valley. No doubt about it. For those who are not impressed with Kitab and Sunnah and where the Salaf Salah, we said, Jarrib, try it. You might like it. Try to make Toba. Try to repent. Try to, to stopping of, of committing of sins and see what Allah Taala got in store for us then. Hada wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.